Hello, welcome to Date Not Live with me, Guru Brando, and Lady Elizabeth, and that one. That hey, Billy. That thing right there. She's not usually allowed in here if you're my client. I'm sorry, she's on a blanket. Oh, don't, hey, don't, Billy. stop, just stop, <laughs> just stop spreading her stuff. Anyways, um, so the title of this one, why? Because I can. What does that mean to you? Um, when you just do something for no other reason other than you can. So earlier we were sitting here discussing, what are we even going to talk about tonight? What do we have to talk about? What's going on? And I have a basket down here that has toys and, and um, fidget, fidget toys and such and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so one of them is, is the snake, Sneaky Snake. Yeah. And um, because Sneaky Snake is heavy, it's like a weighted... Um, weighted snake and so when my clients first come in they like to have support but not support <laughs> they'll, they'll use this uh, sort of like a fidget toy and you can fidget with its tail and you can fidget with its mouth and plus it freaks people out but it doesn't freak out the dumb cat um, but I was sitting there and I put it on me and it's like it's like oh man and then it occurred to me oh this can be the podcast and Carol laughed at me. She laughed at me. She laughed at me a lot. I get sad about it. I feel bullied. 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 Yeah. Joe knows. Joe bullies me too. And y'all all bullied me together on Wednesday. We sure did. Yeah, Joe busted Carol up in Joe gave you a wedgie and, and Joe gave you a noogie and I pointed at you and laughed. Yes. Yes, you did. All of the above. And then the cat pooped in my shoes. Um, do you see my shirt? Huh? You'd be tempting her. To I know. I don't want to tempt her. See my shirt at school, right? Mm -hmm. That's you. That's where the magic happens, baby. Dad jokes. I know. I have them. A few. Um, so I had a very productive coaching day today. Today was also Fancy Pants Friday, and I'm wearing my fancy pants. Yes. They are zombies and skulls. Actually, just skulls. These aren't the zombie ones. Just skulls. They're just skulls, y'all. So, dad jokes. This is where the magic happens. And my skull britches. Now. Britches. Don't start with me, yo. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. That's a word, people. You're people. People. Okay. So I had a productive coaching day and I got to do something today that I super enjoy with about coaching. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? Can Carol guess? Can either one of y'all guess? I told you right. Ooh, what? Was I told I was right? I don't know. It seems to be your favorite. Um, that is my favorite, but no, that's not what it is. Um, I had special clients today. Who did I have today? <laughs> I had y'all right so um, my day was special because I got to coach you too and um, I also um, got to coach somebody that I don't usually coach but is a, a family friend and so that was nice because because um, they're young and, and I like being able to coach young people versus you old ladies because you old ladies I tell you what y'all are a tough crowd for real, I don't know about all that crap. But um, when I get somebody young who doesn't have to get rid of stuff that they learned, right? They just have to learn new stuff, stuff that they don't know. Whereas you guys have to get rid of stuff that's like ingrained yeah. before you can learn new stuff. You know, 40 because years worth of stuff. huh? Forty years worth of stuff. For forty. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, 40, years? 40 and that's 40, where we're okay. staying. Mm -hmm. You better go along with it, too. Got you, dear heart. I love you so much. Oh, at 30. <laughs> oh, 30? going to be throwing numbers out. You lie like a rug. Lie like a rug. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol's the young, pretty one. <laughs> oh, my God. What? I'm the young, pretty one. What the fuck are you talking oh, about? Ridiculous. I don't even know why you said Carol had that title. I need a, I need a damn badge now. I thought this was just a given. I'm just going to have to get out some more of those oil eye masks. 
Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So that was really an event for me, but I did it. I have, you know, um, if y'all haven't watched or listened from the beginning of the podcast, like season one. So I have a gift shop also. And one of the things that I have is some eye mask and, you know, a, a face mask, full face mask. It looks like a Hannibal Lecter mask, doesn't it? It's creepy, right? Yeah. Um, so it's squishy and cold and so gross, but I'm vain. That's one of my, one of my um, very few faults is that I, I'm vain. So I, uh, <laughs> I can't, oh my God, I really, I thought I had it for a second too. Ooh, okay, so I'm not really vain, but I do try to push myself to experience new things because, you know, I'm kind of rigid sometimes. So I had these face masks or these eye masks and I put some on and I made it through it. And when I say I made it through it, that's a real deal, y'all. You don't even know. So I had to touch these things that are like slugs, like smashed slugs. And I had to put them on my face and sit with them with the slugs on my face until it dried. Didn't it feel delightful? Ooh, it did not. But I did it. And I never have to do it again as long as I live. But I can. I'm capable. And why? Chicken thigh. Anyway, why am I capable? Because I can. Because I have the potential. It's good enough and smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. So why can you do stuff? Do you say because I can? Do you say because I can? When someone asks you why, why are you doing that? What's your answer? Well, it depends on what I'm doing. You know, if I might. Shit, because you can? Do you tell people that? Like, if you have no real reason, you can't tell me that you always have a reason for doing what you're doing. Sometimes you're just led to it, right? Yeah. It just feels like the thing to do at the time. <laughs> yeah, like, you know. I don't think I've ever said because I can, generally. What do you I'm say? Sure I have, but I would say I don't know if I didn't feel like I needed to explain it to them. Why even say I don't know? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you just did it. You just did it. I don't know because I can. Damn it, I can. I think it's, it's more of a because I'm able. Because I can. So, yeah, because I can. Because I am a human being, and this is something weird that humans do. We fidget with things, right? Which is why I have this. We also get super sensitive to things which is why I have this, and we also have our insecurities, which is why I have this, right? So basically, I sit here in front of all these people, um, and I talk about how I'm a human being, and sometimes, occasionally, an adult human being. Sometimes, occasionally. Sometimes, occasionally. Mm -hmm. So I've been talking a lot with people about trading in values and why we don't trade in our values for someone else's. Why is that a thing? Why do people do that? Um, if they're like people pleasers. But why would they be a people pleaser to begin with? In an effort to connect with people, they don't feel only about their own values. Okay, so they have values um, that are less than others. Mm -hmm. They feel, right, they, they feel as though they're not worthy or they have something to prove, right? Yeah. Okay, so why bother? That's a lot of effort. Good question. Yeah, why? Joe's watching and Lori's What, what? Lori, Joe, sup? You like sneaky snake? That reminds me of a story. Story morning, Lori. Okay, what's that story morning, Lori? So whenever I was in kindergarten, I was a cute little child, much like Oliver, very curious, and lived on a farm. And my dad uh, would go out and get the irrigation going and stuff and occasionally come home with surprises. So he came home with Sneaky Snake, which happened to be my pet rattlesnake um, that we did not um, milk, so we didn't get the venom out. We took him home, and Dad built a plexiglass box, and I had Sneaky Snake. 
and um, I did not realize that that was weird but they until have a, like this rattlesnake. Oh my God! Yeah, I was that you played with daily. I, okay, I so true story. I'm Slytherin for real <laughs> because. I was convinced that Sneaky Snake and I were like real friends, like we were best friends. This is a damn, <laughs> this is a damn rattlesnake, the, a wild rattlesnake, not like raised in captivity. It, I don't know if they do that. Probably for the rattlesnake roundup, you know, where we go and kill them and eat them. I don't. You've never heard of the rattlesnake roundup? Yeah, it's a oh, Texas thing. Google it. Like a no, no, it's, it's an event. People go out and they catch rattlesnakes. Oh my God, I can't believe you don't know what a rattlesnake, a rattlesnake roundup is. Out and they run out into the Texas desert oh. picking up rattlesnakes. Jeez Louise! Oh my God, just read about it. You're killing me, Smalls. Jeez. Anyway, so um, yeah, I didn't realize how weird it was that I had a pet rattlesnake until I got much, much older, and I was talking about it. And everyone was looking at me like, you had a pet rattlesnake? Yeah, and it's not like I didn't get him out. I mean, it's not like we, you know, cuddled. It's a rattlesnake, for Christ's sakes. But but I would him. totally stem on his rattler. So he would be all... <laughs> so he'd tap on it and get him all yeah, riled up. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And that's why he died. Sneaky Snake died because... He wouldn't eat because I wouldn't leave him the hell alone. Because I was little Oliver who kept tapping the glass and watching his rattle it go. Wow. And I am almost positive that I licked the glass a couple times. Because Oliver was a window licker. We don't have to share everything. Oh, we do. We do. We have to show everybody our underbelly. And if they don't want to look, they'll look away. But it's my page. I was probably a window licker. And that's okay. No I only lick windows on very nice mansions. I don't know. I got nothing. I was actually going to say on, I was going to say, I was going to say only lick windows of candy houses in the, in the um, woods, but that sounds like crack house and I don't lick crack house windows. At least I haven't in a very long time. Oh my gosh, don't tease her. Don't spread her hair and grossness in here. I don't need that juju. I'm going to have to smudge when she leaves. Cats are evil. They hold all the evils of the world. They just do. They're like trees. No. Oh yeah. They hold the evil and then they transfer it from person to person. That's why they're always rubbing up against things. They take the evil from people and they transfer it to the other plane. Well, why does it get stuck here? See? See, that's not transference right there. That's just honoring, and I don't like it. They take a lot of evil. They get, they get a little sassy. I get sassy, too. Because I can. That's why. You were going to ask. I know you were. Mm -hmm. So I just headed it off. So we're going to get some chow tonight and watch some awful TV, but I don't know what we're going to watch. And that's what we do on date night, on Friday night date night. We stay in, we get gross food, and we watch gross TV. Don't say gross TV. But it's, Have you it's, looked at our lineup? The, it's embarrassing. The, if <laughs> if somebody came in here and put it on our on our interwebs, I'd be ashamed of the crap that we watch. I would say it's definitely shit TV. I, I it's, it's good old shit TV. <laughs> It, yeah, it really is. Like, if Jerry Springer's on, I'll watch me some Jerry Springer. There's some good old shit TV. I'm so <laughs> serious. But it's because it's, I, I get so curious about people. Like, that's why I like reality shows. That's why I like documentaries. That's why I like um, biographies. That's why I like all that crap is because you get to know things about other people. And it makes me not feel so weird. I mean, I know that I am. Everybody is a little bit. That cat's weird. Just laying all up on my blanket. Ugh. Cat so she doesn't get her little claws. So, um, this whole thing that we were talking about, this expectations and boundaries crap, you know, like every single time we talk, we talk about this. 
I have an expectation for the cat. What? To be a dog. Cat patties. No, I, I have an expectation for every single cat that I meet to be a dog, and they just never are a dog. Yeah. Dexter was close to being a dog. He At least really, Dexter paid, really played <laughs> fetch <laughs> and barked. Yeah. He really did. He was a strange old cat. He put forth the effort. So I was really excited to see Joe, speaking of strange old cat, I was excited to see him. I miss hanging out with him. Things are different, and they should be. Relationships should always be changing. But things are different primarily because I'm busier. I have slowed down. You're welcome, right? I've define, slowed down. Define slow down. What do you mean define <laughs> slow down? You keep Come using on. that word. I'm not sure it means what you think it means. Oh, stop <laughs> that. I've been, I've been deliberately um, avoiding work all the time. Yeah, you do, but then you end up behind. I, you have I to am work kind double of time forever. But probably forever, but maybe not. We're going to go with maybe not. Um, I don't mind working, though. That's the thing. I think that that's the biggest problem in my life is I don't mind working. But we today talked about work smart, work hard, right? Working smart is working hard. Mm -hmm. It's not work smarter, not harder. It's work smart, work hard. Because there's nothing that takes more than sending that intention out there. You can want to do something forever, but not do it. You have to have that will that gets you motivated, right? Well, so that means you have to think of reasons why. Why is it important to me? Well, you can't do that if you're not thinking, right? So you got to think first and then do. So if you have to think before you do, what is the hardest thing for you to do? Um, take the first step. Yeah, to think. <laughs> so it's like this perpetual cycle. I can think about stuff all day long. Just taking the think. first step of action that, that sometimes gets me hung up. Well, that's what the thinking is for. The thinking is to, to plan that route. I don't always think before I do. I'm kind of impulsive. I don't know what about now. I don't think I'm as impulsive as I used to be. I'm kind of chill tonight. I might impulsively get something off the menu that I don't normally get. Like what? I don't know, and it terrifies me to think about it, but I just gave that advice today. So I gave the advice that said go to a new store, get something new off of a menu, or get a new style, or listen to a new band. So which one of those would you be willing to do? Um, well, I'm always down to, tr to try different kind of food that I haven't tried before. God. What about you, Carol? Um, I would try some kind of different food, maybe. I'd also listen to a different band. Um, I listen to the uh, Guru Brando band all the time now. Hey, you know what? It's I the am one man band. Right. <laughs> Mandy, Dandy, Mandy. Woke up a dreaming of Dandy old Mandy. You're welcome. It is the it is the Guru Brando band. I need an album. <laughs> I'll I'll do us an album. <laughs> now I'm thinking the anal bum cover. Anal bum. <laughs> <laughs> because you need an anal bum cover. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, the station wagon, like I did meatloaf. Are you gonna make me tell a meatloaf story? Ooh, she said yes. So the meatloaf story. Meatloaf is my man, and I am so sad. It was too soon, too soon. Wow, respect. I'm already upset thinking about how Sneaky Snake died. That was my fault. And now you're going to crush me with this. I can't even keep it up. God, I suck at this acting thing. Ugh. Anyway, so Meatloaf sitting in the station wagon. What we called the blue Tyrannosaurus Rex. Don't know why we called it that. Don't really care, but it was I'm old. Sure. You're evil. I do have a little T-Rex on. Because you were right there. 
Wow. <laughs> Just no respect. Anyway, so setting in the station wagon <laughs> listening to Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. I was like seven, maybe, maybe eight, seven, eight, something like that, listening to it, and that was my hero. So I would take it upon myself to dress like the meat and um, and perform in the station wagon. Oh, and <laughs> How did you dress like the meat? I found, I found, no, I found the, I found this button up white button-up shirt and um, of course a sport jacket my brother's is a corduroy one too god it was horrible awful oh so bad and um, I would put it on and I would I would perform like the meat so you'd be sitting in the hot blazing car listening to sweat yes yeah, corduroy jacket yep so oh, I was no. dripping just like him too <laughs> and I had long hair and it was curly, and I was so pissed that it was curly because it was straight, and I wanted it to be straight. That was my whole motivation for learning piano, is I wanted to be like the meat. So, yeah, um, I'm devastated that he's gone, and I would not do anything for love. <laughs> so... Um, the meat would not either. I know, right? I know! Worst song ever. Isn't that the only song you ever heard? Ah, you're an a-hole. <laughs> Not everybody can go to, what was it called? Um, um, oh my God. <laughs> Little Affair. Little Affair. God. Um, what's going on in our world? Our kids you're are all slithering. crazy. I'm slithering. You're Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Whatever. Anything other than Slytherin's Hufflepuff, that's all I know. Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. What's the other ones? Oh, my God. Come on, help me. Should we help oh, them? Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Yeah, okay. You can call yourself one of the owls. This is a no. Hogwarts, but you don't know what all four Mandy houses are. Mandy loves the little affair. I know. know. It, of course Mandy does. Of course she does. And y'all are also going to go see Tori Amos at some point. We're going to. And well. you are going to see Weird Al. Can you believe it? You're going to go see Weird Al with Mandy. For your birthday, where you're 32. My 11-year-old self is going to be very happy. <laughs> oh my God, you're so disgusting. Are you going to eat runts on the way? <laughs> no, probably. You're going to smoke it, man. <laughs> you're going to smoke the runts, not eat the runts. So, I can't believe you're going to see Weird Al. Y'all are lame. Whatever. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. You know what it's I'm thinking? It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to okay, it. Okay, so when is it? I don't even know. 28th. 28th, okay. So, y'all are going to do that. We're going to order a smorgasbord of disgusting food and, and watch Disney movies all night. Carol's like, no, we're not. Gonna we're going to go to bed at 7 o'clock <laughs> because no one's going to care. <laughs> That's exactly what she's saying. You better quit it. Mm -hmm. She's not talking to anybody tonight because she doesn't feel beautiful. I will send pictures of Weird Al. Will you, though? Will you send pictures of Weird Al? Because I'm so concerned. I'm really oh, concerned. Look at them. You will like them, too. No, no, we won't. Oh, um, so Oliver and I did the, the little podcast on Wednesday, you know, our Dr. Pepper time. Mm -hmm. And Little Bobby Streets came on and, and left a message, but um, it was after we were already done. So welcome to Station Lake Train. I suspect you'll do the same thing. This one. Somebody's out there making racket. I'm scared to look because I'm scared I'll have to engage. Mm -hmm. It's probably Dad out there making racket. So I was playing with fidget toys earlier. And I remembered that I had this cool number. And it's filthy. I don't know what's on it. I used to always get those things for Christmas. And the one they had little wheels and then they have Oh the little games, little push yeah, button games. Yeah. yeah. Kids they that's go what down we and go down and go down. Yeah, that's what we did before video games. Put there and stare at it. Stam yeah. on it. <laughs> oh my god, so I saw in the catalog the uh oh god, what is it called? The I don't know. L T D catalog I think it is. Or country cat some crap. 
Anyway, um, they had the coolest and lamest um, thing like this. And I was very excited about it. And I was going to share. How can it be both the coolest and the lamest? Because it's only cool it's, because it's lame. Yeah, it's so lame that it's cool. <laughs> yeah, and so I realized very quickly if I showed y'all that, y'all would always make fun of me. Everybody, everybody loved those things, ironically and nostalgically at the same time. Yeah, so <laughs> I decided I wasn't going to share what I really, really liked on that page. I would just get it for y'all, and when y'all hated it, it would be mine. That's a genius, right? And that's the way a trans man does it. Man. Oh, is it typical man? Because I thought it was pretty bitchy. So I was going to go with trans man. But whatever. Because Beth has literally done that to me. Bought me shit that she liked. Quite a few years. But I, I kept it all. I kept it all just because it's principle. Sure, I'll put the Star Wars dice in my car. It's principle. I love you, honey. It does make me and think of you. It too. makes me think of you and how dumb it is. <laughs> I'm teasing. It's because now you're driving my car. So Not that's really. what, but that's what I was. operation and the kids each got a car now. So I, I know, back. but my car. The swagger cool. wagon. <laughs> Did you really just do that? Did you really just, now, there it is. <laughs> I'm seeing it in my head. The, the swagger, swagger wagon. <laughs> Have you not seen the, it's got all the bills video? And <laughs> okay, whoever's listening right now, oh Google I don't want to know. that. It's a video. I know it. I know it. Okay, so you better quit it. It's a wrap. We could totes do that. It's a wrap. <laughs> oh my God. Oh really? No, we are not. Is that the you good mower? Is that the mower? That is the riding mower. Oh, the hauler. That's the hauler. So it'll stop here in a moment. But oh my God. Oh, bring on winter. That's why I'm ready for winter. That's the. But then it's just going to be the snowblower. So, you know, it is. You know it is. This, this year, God, I'm going to choke. <coughs> I want to get a snow blanket for the cars or put a tarp out there. If anyone does that, I want to know. So you just put it over there before the snow, so then you just lift it off, and then you don't have to scrape or nothing. Right? Normal people do that. Why do we never do that? Because I like going out there to scrape off the car. That is not <laughs> work that smart. No. That's no. my point. Well, work smart, know. not hard. Why like don't you guys do that? Because you're Texas people. I, can't I don't it's know. Texas it's like, what the it's hell? It's a lot to cover the van. <laughs> uh, we have a tarp. I've got a tarp with the bug. Okay, so let's just... Driven, so <laughs> that's to protect it from the elements. <laughs> I can't even. I'm just confused by our processes of life sometimes. I don't know why we do the crap that we do, but all three of us do some of the same weird crap. Yep. Like avoid everything. Yep. We're very avoidant. Yeah, pretty much. I keep getting an error. What? What kind of error? It's stopping and then starting and stopping and starting. It doesn't say it is. I hope it's not, but if it is, I'm sorry, people. Jeez, Mandy, I'm just, I'm so disappointed right now that, that you're totally on Carol's side all the time. Makes, makes me sad. Whatever. I think, though, that Joe's on my side. He shut you down real quick whenever I was blaming you and saying that you wanted my head shaped that you were going to make me shave my head. And he's like, don't do it. Don't listen to her. He was on my side. Oh, he so did. Don't even play. I was thinking about eating meat again. You think about that often? I do. I, I, Mandy, do you ever try to eat meat again? I just want to know. I try because I really need to have protein, more protein. And it's awful. I miss eating it, but I know that if I do, I'm going to be sick. Mandy said to listen to me, or to her, I'm assuming it's me, but she says, nope, she doesn't ever okay, Mandy, want to do meat. Okay, Mandy, you love the mullet. Shut your mouth. It's 
gorgeous. You know it is. And every time you see it, you run your fingers through it. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. I can't lie. So you hate it. But that's okay. It's okay. It builds character. Yes, it does. Builds character. Builds you up as a certain Why is that cat still in here just cleaning herself? It's almost x-rated right now. No, I'm going to need you to stop. licking her shoulder. It's not x-rated. This is not the bathroom. She doesn't need to have a bath in here. She needs to stop it. can't change what you tolerate, guru. You tolerate her being in here. Only because you build something. Only because the two mutes are in here. And I value y'all. I don't oh, even know don't why. Know. You better quit it. You love her and you stop it. I feel like I have to provide a therapy animal for y'all because y'all always talk about how terrible I am. Like y'all need a whole support group just for me. The That's terrible. not us. That's you. Not a me problem. Y'all are the only ones that can't deal with me. Y'all and the rest of my clients. And Mandy sometimes. <laughs> my clients are all, yeah, I need their phone numbers. I need to, we need to catch up. And I'm like, no, no, no. So we just, speaking of catch up, caught up with some of our best good friends that moved. You said catch up? Wow. <laughs> anyway, they moved uh, out of state and they just moved back. And uh, our friend, we'll just say Jen, has um, kids. <laughs> and one of them is uh, also trans. Mm -hmm. And so we have a whole lot to share. And uh, she's hilarious. Right? Yes. I think she is. I'm only funny looking. I don't have much funny content, but I can sure make you laugh if I do the truffle shuffle. So is comedy, is comedy a cure um, for what ails you? Um, well, I think according to studies it is because it, you know, releases and stuff. But stuff what do you think? Improves your psychology. So do you think that um, comedy is a cure for the blues? Um, yeah, after I've had a good laugh about something, I'm, you know, whatever it was that was bothering me that day isn't there anymore. So you say, yes, you know, it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so if we didn't have comedy, if, if y'all didn't have me for comic relief, how serious would y'all be? Like, on your own, how serious do you think you are? Do you not think we would be less serious if we didn't have to? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. What do you think? Do you think that you would be um, less serious or more serious if I if you weren't influenced by me? So if I wasn't part of the equation. I don't know. I might be more serious. She is literally licking herself. Yikes! In a way, I need to not know that there's a cat under my feet licking anything. She's got a lot of belly gold. Oh my God, I'm gonna need everyone to stop talking about it. What is understood does not need to be discussed. Nick your belly, it's oh, okay. Oh Lord, okay. <laughs> I'm about to shame the cat on Rather TV. Your belly. Oh, I called it too. <laughs> if that cat licked my belly, we would have words. Don't even try to will her to either because that's just wrong. But I wouldn't put it past her because she's evil, because she's a cat. Um. What's not evil are snakes, which is why I had a pet snake. And snakes eat cats. Really? So what's not evil is the icon of evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is a snake evil? How does a, a snake eat a cat? I mean, I understand like an anaconda, but a regular old What does that mean? How does a snake eat a cat? It's not a good thing. <gasps> oh, you know what's funny is my real friends. Oh, God, you're so mean. Damn. My, <laughs> my real friends are messaging me right now going, which friend moved back? <laughs> I love it so much. It makes me happy. Keeping you on your toes. Um, so we didn't decide what we're eating tonight, and we didn't decide what we're watching. But one thing is for certain, 
can be shit TV and shit food. When we want real <laughs> shit food, we get the chow mein in the can and we watch Cops. That's a guilty pleasure. And that is the whole reason why I want to eat meat again. I want to be able to eat meat again so I can eat Le Choy in the can <sighs> and watch Cops. I don't know any of the words you just I said. I can't even take it. You are... So weird. You're from the coast. Le you know nothing. Lechoy in a can. Oh my it, God! It's a, it's a delicacy. Who doesn't from, know what lechoy you know is? <laughs> and of all people, you, the hand job, who right there has a screen that can look it up real quick, has no idea what lechoy is. Lechoy in a can on my Google it's search. It's a delicacy of the low. Income. It is a delicacy of the low income of the military family even. And so you should know There's you were. That, well, it's in the can. It's it's got chicken, canned meat in that in the the chicken for the chicken chow mein and for the beef lo mein it has what? Yeah, never. Couldn't play video. I don't um, know. Sucks. It's it's I playing. I don't know what's going on, but okay, I believe you. Never I, get the I beef though. See, look, she says. Food? Oh my God! Don't you eat did the just beef. Say the beef food. tastes like cat food. But the chicken is actually okay. Like so Mandy says Le Choy, so sexy. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, with well, the noodles on top. How much? We used to call them the crispy noodles. In my life, I've had a, I've had a taste of a little bit of cat food. Was it Fancy Feast? No, it was. Oh, uh, then you haven't gross. lived. You haven't lived and unless you've had. Her. Oh my God, she is really cleaning herself right here. I told you, jeez, <laughs> no, I don't want to see that. Oh my God! So yeah, okay. So now the the, the little wontons, hard things. They're not wontons. What are those called? The little things. Not the wontons. Things. We're they're, talking the Chinese noodles. noodles. They're, they're noodles. actually called Chinese they're noodles. They're crunchy hard noodles. Yes, those are delicious too. Patty has joined us. And I was Patty eat, said hi, Patty. Awesome. Yes, I, eat, like, I know. Like, cans of those those Chinese noodles. Those Everybody noodles. would, and and you can okay. make the cookies with them. Remember uh -huh. the bird's nest yeah. cookies? Oh, I remember seeing. Now she like knows. That. Now she oh. I didn't. How do you compare like that? that? Butterscotch with those. Is I can't really... even stand you right now. And in in this in the spring, you put little robin's eggs in them, the the malted ones. And she doesn't even like malt balls. I can't even. Like whoppers. And we all know. Patty said they called them worms. Oh yeah yeah yeah. My mom never bought. So would your mom have let you have a snake given your religious background and her not even letting you say helicopter? Uh, you had to say hecticopter. Hecticopter and beaver darn. Um, beaver darn and heck hecticopter. No, oh my god. By the time I came along there was no, there was there were no pets, there was no, no pets. No fun. No fun. No, no sinning. Boats, no motor cars. Is that why you're such a sinner now? You know it. Sinner. <laughs> such a sinner. I am a center of attention. Ha! <laughs> so see, that's the dad jokes. I know that's what I'm saying. Right there. Dad jokes. Where the magic happens. Right here in this office, in this chair, this is where the magic happens. Yes. That's the, and watch cops. You got to watch cops with it. Or rescue 911. That's a good one. I like it. Oh, so that's okay. Forever. Whatever. But we were talking about Doogie Howser came out <laughs> with with Jen. We were talking about um, watching. Uh, oh my God! I just lost it. <sighs> I'm so mad right now. She <laughs> got. Wow! I can't even remember what it was. Oh, oh. Gary stuff. We, I, yeah, I said, yeah, I said I could not watch um, Unsolved Mysteries or listen to the opening of Unsolved Mysteries while I'm by myself. It trips me out because that's like childhood scary shit right yeah. there. Yeah, and, um, there movies that, that, you, that could really happen or, or based on something that yeah, really has Yeah, but that's all I crave now. Than, that's all I want to watch. And the over-the-top the, the over the top horror movies I enjoy be, just because it's silly. All I want to watch is real shit. I don't want to watch like all the fantastic stuff until I do. But I prefer action. Like I like to watch action movies. And and you like last We don't have enough viewer. action horrors. Um that's what slasher flicks are, dingus. 
Those aren't any good. Same for Chris with what? I don't know what. I and waited too long to see it. it. You know what I thought was cool that Mandy and Chris did when we met them? Is they called pizza crust pizza bones. And that's what I grew up saying. Is that pizza crust was pizza bones because we give them dogs. So we used to, every pizza night, give the dogs pizza, pizza bones. And now we don't order out because we're poor, so we don't give them pizza bones. We eat our pizza bones. Yep. But we never Sorry, get the bones. Sorry, I don't bones. share with you. Right. Oh, oh, until it is. It's so creepy. I can't stand it. It's like, why? It's quite effective to instill creep factor with what's his name's voice. The Tales Who's of the, the Dark Side used to do that to me. Really? Yeah, it would come that on and, and then you hear that guy, the narrator, come on. Alfred Hitchcock messed me up. I couldn't handle Alfred Hitchcock. God, yeah. It's an awful thing. And, like, birds terrified me. That's still to this day why I do not like birds. Ooh, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was a fun show. Nope, never watched it. Couldn't do. Couldn't get past the opening. It was annoying. Oh, we could. We could all no. watch that. No, I mean, for real. we could. Is shit TV for the night. Mm -hmm. No. Scully. No. Scully. Oh my God. Did you just say Scully's hot? And you're making us watch Bones. No, we could be watching the X Files. Bones. Oh my the God. Scully. It was brutal to get through that first episode. <laughs> Do y'all watch Bones? I mean, God. <laughs> and and maybe it's because of Here's the God. forensics thing. Well, because I did forensics, so it's like Why watching that shit. Else? It's oh, I wish you I was. Don't believe she can magic. Just sniff a corpse and know exactly how he died. <laughs> oh, that I believe. I don't believe that they can Man, get a search warrant in two hours. <laughs> exactly. This set of so bones like, that's been decaying for like 40 years, they yeah. have tennis elbow. <laughs> okay, I'm literally going to bring that up, but you can't Wait, see uh, that though. But you can't see it like immediately. It was awful. That was so terrible. I, I thought it was, I was enjoyable though. I did enjoy it. It's funny. It gets better. Because of some of the crap that she's in. Uh, <laughs> so she, she gets more and more autistic. Oh as, my God! You just goes. said it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. She does. I I can see it. I can you. see her. Um, oh, now you got it. I don't even know why you're messing with the cat right here <laughs> next to me. I'm from so you. highly uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm being tested right now, and I'm about to throw this steak on someone. God, stop cussing off camera. Um, on camera. I was playing Simon earlier. And Badly. I, I, I hate you. <laughs> you got mean. him. He's got a, like six years. <laughs> I can't. And this is when you feel bad. This is how you are. So, know, no wow. Way. This is fun. Th it makes me feel better somehow. I don't know why. I'm sure there's because, something I talk about because with comedy. My life coach. Because comedy cures the blues. That's what the yeah. whole theme of this is. So comedy cures the blues. So why do I do weird crap? Because I can. And why can't I? Because that Maybe. shit's funny. It's because it's funny. Why do I just decide to wear a Krispy Kreme hat all day long everywhere I go on a military installment? Because people are going to stop and ask you if you work for Krispy Kreme. Even though you're dressed in normal clothes and you're at the school picking up your children, but if you wear a paper Krispy Kreme hat, someone's going to ask you if you work there. Why is it relative? So I just said yes. That must be cool. It's really not because I want donuts all the time and I can never have them because I work there. And if you work for Krispy Kreme, you're not allowed to eat donuts. They believed me. You told people that. I did. Only two people, though. Only two people that, that asked me. Oh, Sarah's on. Sarah without the... <sighs> right? Her and her sugar britches. See, she says britches. She says britches. Where is she? Sarah. You met Sarah. I can't even. I can't. Sarah without the... Sarah, she don't even know you now. She just pretends because you said britches. And they have this mental block on britches. 
they just don't want to hear real language. That's the thing. It's it gets too real for them, and they're like, you know what? That's a little too real for me. I don't even believe it. Um, so I have very special people in my life. Thank you. It's nice to be recognized. It's Thank not you. you. Oh, whatever. It's so not you. I have special people in my life that are chosen by me specifically. They are chosen ones. So these very spe special special <laughs> these very special. Oh God, I'm gonna quit talking. These very special people in my life are people that deserve to be my friends. And they deserve to be chosen by me to be on the inner circle, the circle of trust that Joe and I are talking about. Joe is one of those people. Mandy's another one. And Mandy and Joe are, for a lack, tolerable to me. <laughs> you mean they can tolerate you? Yes. <laughs> tolerable of my... To, that's it. Tolerant of my antics. It looks like you're saying they're tolerable, which means that you can, bear, you can tolerate them. Yeah, that too. No, I'm teasing. Um, but they tolerate my antics yes, like tolerant. you guys do. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? The, um, the select few. Because it's not boring. The proud. The gurus. Because comedy is the best. Right, because comedy is the best. Thank you for following that line. I mean, it, it was taking some doing to pull that out of y'all. So, because I have OCD, <laughs> I'm about to say bye. No, keep talking. I Mr. can't. Mark, do, oh, Mr. it goes. Mark, you can do it. I was almost 46, 46. It uh, was 46, 46. Okay. okay, so yeah, I have to get I'm off. I'm not my waiting phone. for 47, 47. So. I have the anxiety. Okay, all right. It's been fun, but now we're done. It's been fun, and now we're done. But I really have to go in three, two, one. There we go. Bye.